Good morning, happy Friday to you, and welcome back to Four More Minutes. I am the Soul Stir, Sam Bailey, stirring up your hearts and minds for God. I want to thank you for joining us this Friday morning, and just thank you for joining us all week. <laughs> you know, we appreciate you. I appreciate you, and especially those that share and those that subscribe to the Soul Stir on YouTube. And we are looking forward to an outstanding weekend as well. If you're looking for a place uh, to worship Sunday, you can join us at the Cedar Valley Church of Christ there in Lancaster, or if you want to join online, do so as well at our Cedar Valley page, where many of you probably have seen this, this video. Today, I want to talk about the road less travel. Uh, and Robert Frost had a poem, and I think I remember that it says, two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference in life. We have paths that we have to take and the road less traveled is the one uh, that's not the beaten path. You have to carve it out yourself. Sometimes, I, as I'm hiking in, in the mountains and there are trails that have been marked out because people walk through there, I wonder who was the first person to go through there, right? Who was the person to outline the track and all of those woods to know where it comes out? And now when I go, like to Colorado or or Montana, there's a map, right? And the map shows you the different trails they have. But I'm always like, who was the first, right? Uh, Lewis and Clark, right? Who's the first to expand west to discover these particular areas? And it's hard being the first because you got some rough terrain when you are the first. When you are clearing the path, it's difficult. Whether you're the first child or whether you are the first one in the company, the first one in your gender to do something, the first one in your race to do something, it becomes the first one in your family, listen to my dog, it becomes difficult. So it's important to know that, that, that the road less travel uh, is often the road that's necessary and vital for success. The word tells us that there are two, two ways, right? There's a straight and narrow way, and then there's the broad way. The straight and narrow way leads to everlasting life, and there's going to be few that go that way. But then there's a broad way that leads to destruction and many are going to find it. So just because you're walking a path, just because you're on a way and not many people with you or walking with you or supporting you or following you or even believing you doesn't mean it's the wrong way. Just because a bunch of people are doing it and feel good about it and talk about it and, 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 and seem like that they're having a good old party and a celebratory time down this path doesn't mean that's the path to walk. Uh, the road less travel I've seen in my life where I've taken the road less travel. Sometimes it can be a lonely road. Sometimes it can be a frustrating road. Sometimes it can be a disappointing road. Sometimes you can just feel plain out, simply stupid, uh, and you feel sorry for yourself because there are not a lot of people down the road. There's not a lot of people to celebrate with you, not a lot of people to encourage you on their walk. But the rewards of the end of that road can be uh, very, very rewarding to you if you stay with it. Uh, so just know that, that we always have a choice in life right and we are here in many cases where we are standing today because of the choices that we've taken i've never want anybody to take away my power to choose whether i want to wear a mask or not or whether i want to eat or not or, or who i want to vote for or who you choose to marry or where you choose to live like where you choose to worship these are these are choices these are freedoms god never forces us to choose but he gives us the information and we got to make the wise choice based on the information that he, he's given us. And so I pray that we would make informed choices, wise choices to, to look at and examine and try to look at the outcome of the situation. And that, that takes a lot of wisdom to do and it takes uh, the divine inspiration from God up above. Well, I hope you have an outstanding weekend. Again, I thank you. Thank you so much, especially those that are faithful uh, to this four more minutes. It's just our attempt to put some inspiration, encouragement, hope out into the world and share it with someone. Again, we'll see you Monday right here on four more minutes. Thank you.